Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news just like always and today's update has to do with Substance Painter. So not long ago we talked about Substance Painter, the 2019.2 update that was just released and we talked about a couple of features. You guys went on to say that there's a couple of things that you've been waiting for and they're not there in Substance but today I bring you guys good tidings. So the guys at Allegorhythmic, the guys at Substance, the guys at Adobe all right so they just finished their Seagraph presentation and there is a whole lot of announcements that's coming so there are major announcements and there are major updates that will be coming over to Substance Painter really really soon and first off is the big leap forward to making use of Udims so Udims or the Udim workflow would now be very, very present in the Substance Painter. So probably maybe in the next update, we might be able to see that. And they actually did a live demo where they actually showcased how you can simply paint across UV tiles. And I know this is something that a whole lot of us have actually asked for. You know, a lot of people have asked for Udims. A lot of people have asked, how can we not, you know, how can we stop using the texture sets? Because that's believe me guys that's a bit boring to work with and udims is the way forward and we've you know asked consistently how this is going to work out and the guys at algorithmic actually the guys at adobe that are managing substance are saying that yes of course this is something that is going to happen so native udim support is coming to substance painter so the tool will feature seamless texturing from one uv tile to another and they went on to say that you should please note that painting across udim tiles is still currently in development and now it is closed to beta and only selected users for now and this is something that probably once they are done with the entire thing you know they can make it public but i'm not just so okay with the idea of closed beta i kind of prefer it when you know you put it out there everyone works with it i think that way you're going to get a huge data and a huge feedback on how to better the software and you know you know make it way more appealing for a huge audience rather than allow like say 10 to 20 people to actually dictate for the market how it's going to work out now the next thing that's coming up the next thing that is coming up i guess you guys are going to love this one is uv so they are working on something that is called project anorigami and it has to do with you being able to easily uv your stuff automatically directly in substance painter how cool is that going to be so when you're done with your zbrush file or once you're done sculpting in any program of your choice you can just throw it directly into substance painter and automatically create uv and they went on to say that the team behind these have gone ahead to create uh, an api that would ensure that there is going to be an uncompromisingly qualitative uv creation and the new project can automate all three parts of the uv process which includes segmentation unwrapping and packing something that the guys using Amaya uh, know as layout yes that is something that is coming to substance painter and it doesn't just end there material x to painter is also on its way so the last time which we talked about material x i told you guys that material x is uh, something that has been created by the guys at ilm and yes of course now we're going to be getting material x directly into substance painter and you can you know paint directly there and with this development i guess we'll be able to export our material x you know data from substance Substance Painter over to maybe apps like Maya and other apps that support the Material X file format. VR is something else that's coming over to Substance Painter. So we all know how everyone is gearing towards AR and VR. The guys managing Substance Painter right now, they are saying that VR is coming over to Substance Painter. So in case you have a VR headset, it's time to get those babies ready because sooner than later, you will be texturing in VR. And I think that would be really, really cool. And yes, of course, I I think they're going to be making updates to some of the tools in the 2019.2 updates which we covered i talked about some improvements that has been made and i've actually played with the tool for a while now and i'm gonna do a review and you know share with you guys what and what i think about it and you know you guys can actually be the judge of that so the updates that will be coming over to substance really really soon is gonna be udims something that we all love the uv thingy is out of the waters is actually something i really really want to see material x and the vr 
are so tell me what you guys think about this are you excited about those updates coming i know there's going to be way more updates than this so which of them are you mostly excited about i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you want to see more updates there is going to be a link in the description that will take you to all the updates that's coming out and the ones that we've covered and you can actually look at them and if you want to learn more about substance painter 2019.1 because i've actually not gone ahead to review the 2019.2 there is an entire workflow step by step how you can get all the updates that have been included how you can work with them in the description so check that out in case you want to get busy and in case you want to learn substance painter and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next update the next tutorial the next free friday and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace